The death toll is 55, but Maui County's mayor says that is just the number of bodies found outdoors. He says emergency responders are waiting for FEMA, which is equipped to handle the hazmat conditions of burned buildings. The police chief estimates about 1,000 people are missing, but cautions, honestly, we don't know. One day they were living in paradise. The next day, residents say there was nothing left. One man jumped into the water to escape. That's the choice. Nothing, nothing. We don't can escape. That's the choice. We don't have any choice, so we have to jump in the water. How long were you in the water for? At least five hours to six hours over there, and then the rest you came. Many residents are asking why emergency sirens didn't go off as flames approached their homes. People are found in houses in a huddle, holding each other because the fire surrounded their homes before they could even get out. There was nowhere to go. And these are beautiful homes that are very old and they're made of wood. Those went up like a matchstick. Nobody had warning. Three major fires are burning on Maui. One of them decimated the tourist hub and historic town of Lahaina. 11,000 people remained without power this morning. Cellular, internet, and radio network outages continue to hamper the efforts of emergency responders who are using satellite phones. But right now our goal is to, uh, is to calm our community uh, and they need to know that we are working together with our federal and state and county partners, our allies, uh, the business community. There's been so an outpouring of so much uh, donations and offers of help. The fires broke out Tuesday, fueled by a summer drought and strong winds. It will likely be the deadliest natural disaster the state has ever seen. As search and rescue operations continue, state officials are scrambling to find housing for thousands who no longer have homes. It's been eight years that we're working on remodeling the house. The inside was almost done. We were making plans on what we're going to do on the outside and started 10 years ago with three suitcases and a few bucks. Now we're going to do it again. It was so close. And so many things could have gone wrong, but for us, we lost a house, but we, our business is still here. And there's, I mean, there are things that we still need to do, gas, water, electrical, but it's still standing. When asked whether the siren system failed, Maui's mayor says what unfolded was an impossible situation. Hawaii emergency management records show no indication warning sirens sounded before people ran for their lives. Alerts went out to cell phones, TV and radio stations, but power and cellular outages may have limited the reach. The scale of this disaster will likely surpass that of Hawaii's 1960 tsunami, which claimed more than 60 lives. In the newsroom, Judy Wang, WGN News.